Measures of position for quartile, decile, percentile for ungrouped data. First is quartile. It is values that are divided into four equal parts. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, wherein 92 is the lower quartile or the Q1, 94 is the middle quartile or the median and Q2, and 96 is the upper quartile which is the Q3. To compute Q1 or the lower quartile, it is equal to 0 0.25 times n plus 1. It falls into two integers round up and n is the number of the data. Q2 or the median is equal to 0 0.5 times n plus 1, while Q3 or the upper quartile is 0 0.75 times n plus 1, and it falls between two integers round down. Let's have an example. Calculate Q1, Q2, Q3 from the following data. So first, arrange from descending to descending. So 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 50, and 70. And Q1 is equals to 0 0.25 times N, which is the number of data, plus 1 is equals to 0 0.25 times 9 and plus 1 it is equals to 0 0.25 times 10 using the calculator we will get an answer of 2.25. So since this is the Q1, we should round up. So it will become 3 and the third place or the Q1 is number 10. So Q1 is equal to number 10. Next is the Q2 or the median. It is equal to 0 0.5 times n plus 1 and it is equal to 0 0.5 times 9 plus 1 and it was to 0 0.5 times 10 and using the calculator we'll get an answer of 5 and we calculated an answer of 5 so, we will count the fifth place from the left. So, it is number 20. So, the Q2 or the median is the number 20. Next is the Q3, wherein 0 0.75 times n plus 1. And it goes to 0 0.75 times the number of data, which is 9 plus 1. And it is equals to 0 0.75 times 10 using a calculator. We get an answer of 7.5. And since this is the lower quartile, we have to round down. So we get 7. So count from the left, the number 7, the 7. And it is the 30. So we got number 30 as the Q3. Or the lower quartile. Next is the decile. The decile is the values that are divided into 10 equal parts. And to compute the position of these cells, D, of D sub k is equals to k over 10 times n plus 1, where k is the position of the deciles, and n is the, the total number of data. Calculate the, the D7 from the following data, 10, 50, 30, 20, 10, 20, 70, 30. So we have to arrange from 
descending to ascending, which is 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 50, and 70. So, K is number 7, since we are going to find D sub 7, and N is the number of data, which is, num which is 8. So, using the formula, D sub K is equals to K over 10 times N plus 1. And it is equals to D sub 7 is equals to 7 over 10 times N plus 1, which is 8 plus 1. And again, D sub 7, which is 7 over 10 times 9. And it is equals to 9. So, we got the value 6.3. So, we are going to count the sixth number from the left, which is number 30. So, the value of D sub 7 is 30. So last is the percentile. It is the values that are divided into 100 equal parts. Its formula is P sub K is over to K over 100 times N plus 1, where K is the position of percentile and N is the total number of data. So calculate P75 from the following data. 85, 96, 108, 76, 85, 80, 185, and 70. So a range from descending to ascending, which is... 70, 76, 80, 85, 85, 85, 95, 96, 100, and 108. So the formula is P sub K is equals to K over 100 times N plus 1. And we have the K of 75 and N is equals to 10. So P sub 75 is equals to 75 over 100 times n which is 10 plus 1 so 75 over 100 over 11 times 11 so using the calculator So we had an answer of 8.25. So we are going to find the 8th number from the left and it is number 96. So the value of P sub 7 is 96.